Hi, fellow gig workers. My name is Levi, and this is Tip You in the App. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Uber's uh, surcharge and trip reimbursement. First, wanna just thank Uber for listening to us gig workers. Obviously, fuel prices have continued to increase and uh, whether it be the war or government policies, it doesn't really matter what's causing it. Um, what really matters at this point in time is can we continue to do our work as gig workers um, as the fuel prices continue to increase. And so what Uber did as a response, what they did was they charged passengers and deliveries somewhere between 35 to 55 cents per um, trip. It just depends on the market and the type of trip that you're doing but that's really, really good, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Uber. There's some details, though, that we should really know and understand, and how will it affect us as uh, Uber drivers? Right now, um, Lyft, DoorDash, Grubhub, all the other apps, that I'm not aware of them putting out something at this point in time. So right now, today, we're just gonna focus on um, Uber and what it means to you. First and foremost, it starts March 16th, and it's gonna run for at least 60 days. After 60 days, they will adjust um, whether continue, increase, or decrease, depending upon the, the gas prices in the US, I assume. You're gonna be reimbursed 35 cents at a minimum to 55 cents. It depends on the market. I think it's 35 and 45 for deliveries, depending upon the market, and 45 and 55 for trips with passengers, depending upon the market. For in my market here in upstate New York, uh, we're gonna be reimbursed 55 cents, whether it's Uber X, Uber Comfort, Uber XL, it doesn't matter, it's just 30 or 55 cents per trip. This is a cost, uh, a surcharge for each um, delivery and passenger. So the passenger, the consumer, the consumer is gonna be paying for this, not uh, Uber. And that cost is gonna be passed directly to us as um, gig workers. So that's a really good thing. And I, you're gonna get the reimbursement regardless of what vehicle you drive. And we need to talk about that because there's some real implications and you can kind of see the future of what um, Uber is trying to do. And again, it's gonna last 60 days. So let's talk about the types of vehicles. Uber has been making this push to get Uber drivers to drive um, shorter trips and use um, hybrids and or EVs. And so this idea of 55 cents per mile, at least what it is in my market, it doesn't matter what type of vehicle you drive. So if you're driving a Dodge Caravan getting 30 miles to the gallon, what ends up happening is you still get 55 cents. Or if I'm driving a Tesla, I'm not even using gas, I still get 55 cents. So the incentive is set up for us to do more short trips using um, higher miles per gallon vehicles. And that's really important. There's some real cost implications. In fact, I went ahead and did some analysis. And if you go to my website, you'll see the differences in what uh, different vehicles will get reimbursed based upon the different uh, fuel costs and or mileage rates. And in fact, um, I wanted to put together a calculator. So if you go to my website, there is a calculator that will show you exactly whether you're gonna make or lose money uh, depending upon the cost of the fuel and or um, how many miles per ride that you drive. So um, if you drive less miles, you're gonna see an increase in the total uh, payout. Whereas if you drive longer rides and get less miles per gallon, it's gonna cost you more. So it's really important. It's a really good thing that Uber listened to us as drivers. It's um, easy to be cynical. Um, they are a company out to make a profit, but so are we, and the passengers don't wanna to pay too much. So all three of us are trying to get the most money out of the transaction, and I can appreciate what Uber's trying to do. It's a good thing, um, but it's only in the short run, and we'll see what it's gonna look like 60 days from now. It's really important though for you to go out to the um, my calculator though and see what it means to you. Again, if you're driving a Tesla and you're getting 55 cents per trip and you got high Quest bonuses, I would totally do nothing but short trips. Um, and if you're driving something with, something with a really bad gas mileage, you might want to consider switching because Uber is gonna continue to make this push to getting cars with better gas mileage. Um, I don't have a solution to that at this point in time, but I do think 
than if you were able to go out and use this calculator, you can see what it really means to you. Tip you in the app is content. It's a show, it's a website, it's a blog. It's all designed for you. Um, we've all had that experience where we take somebody on a trip and they say, can, can you stop at that gas station and do me this favor? I'll tip you in the app. And that typically means we're not gonna get the tip. And so this is my way of producing content for you to make sure that you got that tip. So please go out to the website, subscribe, like, um, um, sign up for the newsletter. I'm gonna continue to try to make as much content as I can to help you as a driver, whether you do Uber, DoorDash, uh, Lyft, Grubhub, um, Instacart, it doesn't matter. Um, I have a passion for this work and I have a passion to help you. It's really nice um, being able to connect as a community. So thanks, like, subscribe.